So do you so, think you're part of the always people in apology for these issues, like, then? Like, Carly, you can go over that stuff again. We've I just been, did. Yeah, I know, but, but we've been think, through these do you things. Think you, you know, do you think you're made, part of the always course, apology? We, we have made mistakes on things. Every party that's in government makes mistakes. But do you think you owe people an apology? People who've had to go to food banks, for example, because of universal credit, the bedroom tax, you yeah, helped deliver I mean, them. I mean, do you owe them an apology? Call, call, of course I regret some but of them that we were required to Why be... Why is it so hard for politicians to say, actually, maybe we do? We say we regret well, like, it, we... Like, 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 we have, and, and those who were in government have made it clear where they got it wrong and they have submitted apologies on those occasions. I wasn't there, so I'm not going to go through those things, but what I can tell you, Colin, it's not a one-way street. There was many things we managed to achieve. There was many things we held the Conservatives back on. If we were not there, you've seen since. For instance, George Osborne brought in £12 billion cuts to the welfare budget. That's what he wanted. No, 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 the no, 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 no. He brought them in after we left government, Colin. That's the crucial thing. We stopped it when we were there. So it would have been an awful lot worse if Liberal Democrats had not been in government. Of course it was hard. But government is hard, Colin. You're not going to say sorry for any of that. Look, we've made, a, we've, we've expressed regret. We've said we're sorry.